Gude. Some time ago, I have seen a question. If it's possible to integrate Koki's TTS voice synthesis logic into an existing Python-based program, such as just import Koki and uh, create voice. And honestly, I do not think that is possible at the moment. But I thought creating a simple module which will just make that HTTP GET request to an existing Koki TTS server would be a funny little project for a rainy weekend. And um, the most complex part is to find a name. But I found one. And its name, it is Legend, wait for it, wait for it, Dairy. <laughs> so, big shout out uh, to Barney Stinson, a character from the TV show How I Met Your Mother, for that legendary thing. And um, the name, it is CTTS, which is the short form for Koki TTS. And here's the second shout out for the guy who created GTTS, as it uh, was my inspiration for that simple name. GTTS is a really a popular Python module enabling um, to interact with Google's text-to-speech cloud API services. Quite simple. And so I created that CTTS package. And I'd like to show it to you now and the only thing you have to prepare is to set up a locally text-to-speech Koki server. And that is really a simple and straightforward process when you are running it with one of the pre-trained available models. So I will link it here if you are unsure on how to set up a Koki TTS server, which is really simple. Um, please do this at first. I set up my Koki TTS server. Uh, running my uh, Torsten Fullband Melgen text to speech and voice encoder model. So I will check if my server is still up and running. Uh, in my case, it's running on localhost uh, port 5002, which is the default. So let's give it a try. Das ist ein Test. Okay, it has been spoken on my 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 earphone so this is going to work so the next step is let's open the finder go to our documents YouTube folder and these files are from previous videos so I will keep them to make a consistent structure so let's open that folder in my Visual Studio editor and create a new subfolder called uh, CTTS underscore test that should be created in that directory. Yes, it's true. And within that folder, let's create a new Python file called testpy. Really creative right now. So. Let's check if that is going to work in general. Hello world. Save and open that directory in the terminal. So I'm in my documents YouTube CTTS folder. Now let's run my test file. Hello world. So Python environment is running, so I am able to run that small hello world script. Now let's go one level higher. I had uh, from previous recordings I had a, a virtual environment set up so I will use that but it's up to you if you use, choose to use a virtual environment or not. Um, I've activated my my virtual environment with Thor spin activate and you can see by that YouTube prefix, I am now into my Python virtual environment. My hello world is still runnable, yes. So let's check that I have not installed 
my CTTS package right now. No, no CTS package or module installed at the moment. So let's go to our browser and to the Python package index and search for CTTS. So, and as you can see by the, by the version number 001, this is the initial version. So please give any comments, feedback on improvements, feature requests or stuff like that if you are interested in using the module or have ideas on how to improve it. So, as you can see, it's uh, uh, really simple. You just have uh, to set up a Koki TTS server. Default is the local host 5002, but it's adjustable. And then let's run the pip install CTTS module. Let's go here. Uh, pip install CTTS. It's collecting its version 001, successfully installed. Let's grab it. Yeah, here it is. And let's take that simple example and import it. And now let's see TTS. Um, where's my auto completion? Ah, I have no Python um, extensions installed here. So that might be a problem for the auto-completion. So let's check a Python <coughs> module for my Visual Studio editor. It's going to be installed. Because even the module is quite and really super simple. I have added some doc strings uh, for autocompletion and source code documentation. So maybe this will be shown now. Let's check it. CTTS dot. Ah, here we are. So we have that synthesize to file method, which takes in general four parameters. The first is the file name, which is the path file name and the dot wav file name extension, uh, where the output will be saved. The second is, so let's get it um, YouTube demo wav. The second parameter is obviously the text, so das ist ein test. I will not add a dot at the end because I really see this question quite regular because if you the most models are trained on phrases that end with a dot, a question mark, an exclamation mark. So the model learns that one of these characters is the end of the phrase. And if you do not add a dot or a question mark or an exclamation mark, um, the model has problems to identify the end. So you might get things like uh, this is a test without any typical line ending character. We'll synthesize uh, something like this is a test, 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 until you will read that max decoder steps issue. So, it's recommended to always end your phrases with a typical line or phrase and character. But just in case you will forget this, um, we have an additional parameter called add stop character, which is by default set to true. And if you keep the default with a true value, it will adjust, check the phrase, the text you give to the function, 
And if there is a mid, the last character is not a typical line ending character, it will add a dot by default to avoid that max decoder issue. So I will stick with the default. The third parameter is the URL. Uh, and that is the same URL you entered in the browser to access the simple web UI of CoQTTS server. So the default is HTTP localhost 5002. But you obviously can adjust it to whatever value is right for your case. But in my case, as it's running on localhost with a default port, I can stick with the default. And the last, the fourth parameter uh, is that add character for line ending, which is true by default and can be set to fold, false if not required. So probably that's it. Let's save it. Go back to our directory. And if things go right, we should create in that CTTS, in our working directory right now, a new file called YouTube Demo WAF with a synthesized das ist ein text. So let's give it a try and run our Python script again. Hello world, no error. And here we are with our YouTube demo WAF file. So let's check it with our media player. So you probably will not be able to hear it, but it is synthesized. Well, let's check it in the information if there's any helpful stuff. Is here any? Ah, okay, here. We have a duration of two seconds, a mono channel, sample rate of 22 kilohertz. So it is a valid audio file and it has been synthesized correct. So. That's it. That's the super simple uh, Koki TTS Python module to synthesize a voice using an existing Koki TTS server. So that's been all I want to show you uh, as it's version 001 of that simple CTTS module. Please give me any kind of feedback. Do you like it? Do you think it's useful? Do you have any ideas for further versions on what to improve? And um, so, as always, I'm happy for any kind of feedback. That's it for today. I wish you a nice and pleasant rest of the day. And we will see and hear us in the future. Bye.